Hello guys, Mike Martin again here. Right, I've mentioned a few times throughout a lot of my videos, you need the Cities tab on every page. Now the Cities tab generates what we're calling a never ending sitemap for your site. So it literally creates, well, it creates a link to every single page on the website or every, every single magic page. So you can have a sitemap which is just separate and then you have your magic page sitemap which is run via the never ending sitemap which literally all it does is pulls in the 10 closest locations to the page that you are currently on. So no matter what page you're on, it pulls in the 10 closest locations to that page. So I'll show you exactly how this works. So I've said to you on a few occasions, you need this every on every page. Paste it in there on the H2, update. <clears throat> now, as soon as we look at this page, it should show the 10 closest locations to Sacramento, California, because this is the Sacramento page, as we can see. Okay, you know, it's not say it there because it's a thingy, but if I go to Sacramento, which is the same page, it will show the 10 closest locations to Sacramento, California. Okay, now, the way this sitemap works, like I've said, is it pulls in the 10 closest locations, but you've also got some control over it where you can actually make a few changes and mess around with it, play with it and make it look different if you like. So if you wanted it to show only five locations and you wanted it in a bulleted list format and you wanted to change what it looked like a little bit by putting we like whatever and that location and then I'm very sorry I've done a mistake there and it's told me about it. Okay, we like. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> we'll get there. No, we won't. Right, I'll show you another way of doing that. Okay, so you get your short code, copy it, paste it into wherever you want on the site. Okay, and then say you wanted to put we like before the thing. This is what's going to be shown. So it's going to show the location and it's going to show the we like bit as the label, okay? So we update the page. Now you're gonna get just five, the five closest cities. And each one is gonna say, we like West Sacramento Trailer Park. We like, Roderick, we like, we like, we like. Okay, so I'm not saying use the we like, I'm not saying that, but you can use that to say, we recommend, uh, check out other services we offer in, and so on and so forth. Um, so you can use that like that now if i think we've already got one of these at the bottom just let me check yes we have we've got a city down there so i'm going to get rid of that now and show you how it works so because these pages interlink with one another throughout the whole site when we run it through an indexer so if i go to garden land for example and copy the url not only but a scraper to pull through our urls i use screaming frog the beamersup.com is a free version Right, I remove the end trailing slash for some reason screaming frog doesn't work with the end trailing slash and you click start what this will then do is go through and pull every single page so you click the HTML button and that'll pull every single page on the website every single HTML page because what you've done is you've told it to search via one of the magic pages which obviously the magic pages continually just link 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 to each other all the way through um, I'm not going to run the whole thing in this video, but you'll also see because we've used the spawn page titles, almost every single page title on there is different, different structures, starts with different things, uh, and that's because we used the spawn content when we were building the site earlier. Okie dokie, thank you very much, I will see you in the next video. Cheers, bye bye.